Hello, good morning. My name is Maddie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another intro, even though really I can't keep up with my current projects. So should I be really doing an intro? No. But this one, again, too fun to pass up. It is, again, in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies, and basically it's a ode to the Fantastic Ladies. So make sure you check out everybody else's video that is doing this project, and let's jump into it. So I just realized I didn't say the project name. Um, this is the Throwback 30 Project Pan, and I think this is like the fifth round that everybody has been doing it. So basically what this project is, is Jessica took all of the projects that the Pantastic Slate, that the Pantastic Ladies have done and put them in a poll for the entire group to vote on. And this, I guess, is the top 30 projects that got chosen. So shout out to Jessica for doing all the hard work for the project and for us to have some fun. And let's get into it. I'm actually filming this the day it's supposed to go up. It is Monday, August 28th. The project actually started last month, but I'm always late, so that's fine. Um, I just wasn't feeling the greatest this morning, and then I had a nap and got some motivation. So here we are, four hours later, filming the video. <laughs> I can't believe I actually have 30 products chosen here. Um, I should go in order. I should go in order. Sorry, I just had to make sure I grabbed everything. Um, but I put everything in my bin. This is heavy because there's 30 items in here. But I put everything in the bin and I put number one in first. So... Yeah, I would have to dig through everything, so I'm just gonna go from bottom up, so this was like the- And I don't think these were chosen in any order anyway, so I don't think it really matters, but I'll just talk about the product and the correlating project. So, the first product that- or the first product that I have is for the Turn and Burn project. So basically, Turn and Burn is a project where you just use- items that you can get through fast I believe is the premise so I'm just going to continuously roll in foil packets and sample little products for this so the first one that I'm working on is the Neutrogena take the day off cleansing balm because as you can see I have started using it um, and then I have a face wash and then two creams as well as an eyeshadow primer for I guess this first month of products. Shout out to my brother for playing with the dogs but bad time to do it dude. Um, the next product I'm bringing in is for the project Paranormal Pantivity and the the prompt I chose was Demon and that was a product you were tempted into buying and I've seen all the Instagram influencers talk about these and they finally were available on Amazon Canada so I purchased them and they are the Mighty Patch or the Hero Mighty Patch Nose Strips. I've used one, comes in a 10 pack so my goal is going to be to use these up. I've used one and my first impressions are pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know what I was expecting but I will do a mini review once these are empty but I'm not blown away, but it wasn't bad. Um, the next product I have is for Zodiac Panner. Um, basically, you pick a Zodiac sign, and I had to pick Gemini because I'm a Gemini, but of course it was yellow. I don't know what it is with Geminis and being like the color yellow. It, I feel like that color has to relate to it, but I don't know. I chose the this like yellow highlight in this NYX strobe of genius whole illuminating palette this is super old um I literally like stole this from my sister because this is hers so yeah really old I'm gonna use this 
yellow shade for Gemini. I want to say I have 30 uses. A lot of my product usage goals on this guy are 30 uses because I still back 30. So that is Zodiac Panner. The next one I have is Woman Who Rock. And that actually, that project actually, that project actually just wrapped up. I've seen a lot of people post their finales. Um, I chose a pro prompt Beyonce or girls and it was a woman owned brand. So I'm bringing in my Fenty Beauty powder. Um, what is this called? It is the Pro Filter in the Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Um, I'm bringing it in for 30 uses. I used it a couple times when I first got it and I didn't love it, but I'm going to try it for all over my face instead of baking because I used it for baking and it wasn't good, but I don't bake now, so it doesn't matter. The next product I have, just like on top here, it is for... It is for Skin Is In. It is the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. I got this as a point perk and I actually like wanted more than one. So I have two of these. Anyway, so the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. I have two of these. Um, so my goal is to actually to use both of these up in the course of this project. Hopefully that'll happen. But I use it almost daily. Which I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't exfoliate my face that much, but I'm not complaining. I think my skin's been looking great. So the next one I have is, this is Fantasy, and I chose the prompt Leprechaun, and that was a product that's like, should be easy for you, so I chose the NYX Bear With Me Primer. Um, I have a mini primer that I'm looking to finish in my deck of panning, but after that's gone, this will be in for 30 uses. The next one is Size Matters, and that is basically like something that's big, bulky packaging. And I, the product that I'm rolling in is in another project, but I can't not include it because it's huge. I have other big palettes too, but... I thought I'd get more usage on this guy. So it is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Super old. My goal is no pan left behind on this guy. Which is a lofty goal because there is... Like 20. How many shoes is in here? No pan left behind on this guy. Next we've got... Um, that's so 2000s, my favorite project ever. And I chose One Piece because that's a prompt I haven't rolled into that project yet. And One Piece is a never ending product. And for me, and I know this is just me because I know for others they go through these products fast. My brow pencils feel like they're never ending. I know they're almost done, so I'm throwing these two in to use up, but these are super old. I've had them for a while, and I don't know, I just don't use that much. This is where, this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil that I'm using by Benefit. They're both by Benefit. I got literally these two and a mini brow gel in um, a little tin case, and I just finished the brow gel. So this is still going. Like, I've had this guy for a while, and that's how much is still left. So yeah, brow pencils are never ending for me. Now I have to bring this guy down. So, <laughs> maybe I don't want to finish this up. I'm reconsidering, but yeah, goal's gonna be to finish her up see how much I have of the skinny guy. This scares the shit out of me. Even this thing I have a decent amount of. Okay, but not as much, but I can definitely finish this guy up. You can tell it's old because it has the white ring around it. But it's still working. 
this, like I said, this skinny guy is almost done, so I'll definitely be able to get this, this guy out at least. The uh, thicker one. Goof proof? No. Precisely my brow? Yes. And this one I've been liking more, obviously, it has more use because I don't need to fill my brows in too much. Chaos. Next product slash project we have is tiny pans and honestly I don't have that many palettes that have small pans so this is hard. I could have chose a palette with not that many pans as like kind of a thought but I chose this guy so like shout out to this for coming into my collection at the perfect time but look at these pans they're so small. Um, I don't think this thing has a name, or maybe it did, but it's not on it, so it just says Too Faced. It's from 2018. It's a 2018 holiday palette. Let me see if I can find a name and I'll insert it. Right here. So the next prompt or project is the same pan last year and while I wasn't really panning things last year, I decided that I would choose whatever was in my very first video which was a project pan which was my That's So 2000s intro and I decided to go with my Tartlet Toasted palette. So I'm not going to be crazy and try and hit pan on one of these shades because did sunset and it took forever so I'm just gonna do no pan left behind for this guy. I have a lot of eyeshadows in this project but that's okay. Gives me an excuse to play with all these palettes. Okay the next project that was chosen was Nightmare on Panning Street and I chose the prompt The Ring which was which is a project which is a product you want to expose like the ring or like pan on and I have to go grab that product so give me a moment here so my product for the ring is actually like destroyed it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder the it doesn't have a name and look at it like broken um, as you can see there's like a pan and a ring showing already I want to get this entire ring showing, but ideally I'm just going to keep this in for the duration of the project and see how much use we can get. Don't need to see the broken packaging, here's the product. Yeah, you can see like definitely the outline of the ring on the first one, even the second one. So I think this powder will go fast. I used this powder, not this specific one, but I've used this setting powder since high school so i think after i finish this guy i think i might move on to something else especially because the packaging on it sucks like i've never had one that has not broken and i mean that one was kind of my fault but whatever next product i have is nightmare before christmas and this was one of the harder projects to find items for because I noticed that I don't have Halloween products at all um so it was between the product I chose and the KVD liquid lipsticks because they have like spider webby things or like an orange blush because Halloween colors are like orange and black I'm really trying to think if I have Halloween stuff don't think I do anyway I chose for the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween section, I chose the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. I thought the shade name was Vampire Blood, because I would have like, that's more spooky, but it's not. It's Unicorn Blood. Whatever, I tried. It's Unicorn Blood. Sounds spooky to me, so Halloween. For Christmas, we have the... Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette. I always get sucked into Too Faced's Christmas collections, if you can't can't tell. This one's 2016. Um, so, yeah, this is just a very neutral, very powdered palette. I had, 
I have all three. I have the eggnog still in my collection. And I obviously have this one. My The pink one has since been re-gifted to my niece. I think these two might be. I've really been trying to hit pan on this bronzer. If you can't tell, there's like that line. Um, yeah, I've been trying to hit pan on that. Maybe I will, but the glue on this is no pan left behind. So it shouldn't take too long to hit that glue. Okay, so the next product project is monochromatic project pan and I think there was like months that because I have a month written down but I want to say there was months that correlated with color so I picked June because my birthday month is June and the color was pink so I went with this hourglass like glitter eyeshadow I don't know if your product is supposed to be monochromatic but it's glitter so I'm going with it. It comes with like, I literally just showed this in my haul. And my hands are so, like I just moisturized. That was hard. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Definitely does not look pink. Definitely does not look pink, but whatever. We're using it for, ugh. We're using it for the monochromatic project pan. Eh, the glitter is kind of pink. Once you like spread it out, as I just did all over my leg for whatever reason. Okay, lip service. I kind of cheated on what I pulled in because I have a lot of lip sticks and I'm doing lip a thon and all that good stuff. Um, so I decided to pull in my ABH lip primer. Um, nothing too exciting to show. It's just clear. It's like a lip balm. I don't know if it does anything different than a lip balm. Does it make it your lip stickier? Don't know. I literally have lipstick on. I don't know why I put that to my lips. But glue on this is 30 uses. Um, I might mark some of this stuff so like I can show you guys on paper for the updates and stuff. I haven't used anything yet, so I definitely could, but we'll see about that because it's super late, so if I mark anything, it'll be tomorrow. So next product we have represents the project. Um, it's painting cats and dogs. I chose a lab because I have a lab, my baby Charlie, love of my life. Um, and that was a product you had to hunt down. Um, and believe it or not, this product was something I had to hunt down. I live in Canada, so Shoppers is always sold out of it, even still. It's still sold out of it. Um, I want to say... Did I have to find one of these for my friend, or did I find her something else? I can't remember. Anyway, it's the Elf Halo Glow, like liquid foundation halo glow liquid filter um i mix this with my elf cc cream like the camo cc i mix it with this um so yeah i had to hunt this down i like it i've used it probably three or four times but it's in here for 30 uses so we're definitely going to get to know it and the next product project I kind of skipped over read my list backwards so excuse me it is that's expensive and it's any of your expensive products so I'm bringing in the Caudalie Beauty Elixir it's basically a toner um it's full it kind of looks sussy so I don't know how I feel about it I'm gonna try it for the very at least um and we'll see. The full size of one of these is like $63. So to me, that's pretty expensive. And I would never buy this. I got it in a Poshmark bundle for like, I, I didn't want this. I it was in a bundle of makeup and I just came in it. Next project is, um, I heard the 90s and I chose the prompt Tamagotchi because I love Tamagotchis. And it was something that's not long lasting, which is hilarious. Um, I chose, it's been in a project before, but it is the 
Rimmel single that I have that's super old and that's exactly why it's not long lasting. Um, it's an eyeshadow but I've used it as a bronzer. This is what we're looking like. I don't know how many uses I have it in here for. Maybe 30. Who knows. Um, I'm gonna franken this eventually but I thought this was a good not long lasting product because I just chose the prompt Tamagotchi without reading it and then I'm like, huh, what am I going to pick for that prompt? So, that's what I decided. Alright, the next product that we have is for the project Happy Hour Project 10 and I chose Sex on the Beach and that is a sex themed product. And now before you think I'm about to roll in Too Faced is better than sex, I tricked you because I'm rolling in my NARS blush in the shade, not orgasm, but deep throat. Which, you know, same premise, it's a sexual act. There we go, I guess. Um, it's just a pink blush. 30 uses on this guy, nothing special. I don't even think I have better than sex that I could have thrown in, thrown in here, so. Deep throat works for me. The next product I have is for the project Golden Girl. And it, I chose the prompt Sophia, which is sample size or older product. And I chose the sample size. And it's small and in here somewhere and I can't find it now. Here it is. It is just this foundation sample. Uh, again, just kind of a gimme, gimme product prompt. This is honestly probably going to be too, too dark for me. So, I don't know what I'm going to mix it with. But, yeah, it's just a Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. So, I guess it's a concealer sample, actually. I've been using them as foundations, so... I think I used like the lightest shade of the foundation and I really liked it. And now I'm like, shit, it's a concealer. <laughs> oh well, I don't remember at this point. So, moving on. We have Drop 10 by Summer and basically a summer themed project. So I'm bringing in my Profusion Stay Hydrated Mineral SPF 40 plus plus plus. I don't know what the plus 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 is for. Um, face primer. It's just a SPF product so you're supposed to wear SPF all the time but summer SPF colors are very summery so that's why it's in here for that. Next project that we're representing is the Disney Princess and I chose Elsa. I was just gonna like pick my Disney Princess palette from Colourpop for this prompt. But then I like realized that I have to represent the project, so I'm like, wait, let me go check what that project is and what it's about. So I chose Elsa instead, and I'm bringing in the Moonchild palette because Elsa's colors are ice blue or black. So I'm going to bring in, honestly, this whole palette. Super icy, super blue, but there's literally a shade called Blue Ice. Um, I was gonna say I'm gonna try and hit pan on this shade, but honestly, I want to use this whole palette. So we're gonna do no pan left behind twice. This palette's beautiful. I haven't used this in a while. I'm excited to bring this back out. Wow. Hello. This is the best glow kit Anastasia ever did. Changed my mind. Okay, and wash it out. But Moonchild was the best one. That's my opinion. The next prompt, this one I am really, I liked. It's the Day of the Dead project, which I wish I knew about earlier because that is definitely a project I would have joined. I actually got to be in Mexico for the Day of the Dead once and it was so fun and such a cool experience. So yeah, that prompt or that project makes me happy and makes me think of that time. Um, but anyway, for that project, you have a A and a B. So I chose 19, and 19A is Spirit of the Child. 
So a product that reminds you of your childhood. And then a nighttime product as spirit for spirit of the adult, which I don't know why nighttime product. Maybe because, you know, you go out at night as an adult, but anyway, my product that reminds me of childhood is this Britney Spears Pour perfume, um, because, like, this is a perfume from the 2000s, I swear. It is curious. Does it not have a name on the bottom? I don't know, but it's good. And it reminds me of my childhood because this is the first, like, my sister used to use this perfume. Like, not even me. My older sister used to use this perfume and I stole it from her. Not this one. I bought this one recently. But when I was a kid, I stole this one from her. And now I have my own. So it's like a full circle moment. But that's my childhood project product. And then my nighttime product is... A super cheesy it's not even a product you would like I'm taking this literally and it is the Sephora lip sleeping mask which is funny because it's like this is literally isn't this the same name as the Laneige one but anyway I have this guy in for my night product both of them are 30 uses each like I said a lot of the usage goals on here it's just gonna be 30 for the throwback 30 um, next up we have color pan and I thought this would be a perfect time to break out my ColourPop Alice in Wonderland palette and let's be real here, like, I can't open it, but if I did a look with this, like one of the glues, I've already done a blue look with this actually, so like go check out my Get Ready With Me on this palette in this collection um yeah i did a look with the blues but imagine these like let's just take a moment for these two palettes together they look so beautiful and so aesthetically pleasing and i am so glad that i picked these two to work with for the fall and winter like i'm gonna be rocking the shit out of some icy blue colors this winter i guess um, we're almost there. <laughs> we have Child of the 80s, and I chose the prompt Uno, and I did not know Uno came out in the 80s, so like, history lesson for me, I guess. And Uno represented a brand or a product you only own one of, and I'm almost a thousand percent certain, I'm almost a thousand percent certain I still only own one Violet Voss product. I'm like a thousand percent sure. So I decided that I would bring in my Berry Burst Violet Voss palette um, from, if you don't remember, it's from my Project Level Up Level 1, so it does have a little bit of use on it, but I'm just going to bring her in for a no pan left behind kind of vibe, which shouldn't take too long. I've already done that a couple times this year. So Budget Beauty, I have brought in another elf product. I've brought in this lip exfoliator just to use up. It looks disgusting. But you know, we're almost there. It shouldn't take too long. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase the elf lip exfoliator. As much as I love it in stick form and I wish that the I wish Lush did theirs in stick form. But yeah don't actually love the exfoliator as much as I love Lush's so I don't know what I'm doing with myself because I mean I have a Lush lip exfoliator a big one um so I mean that's my next step after this but yeah all that to say I just want to use this up for budget beauty um beauty A to Z is the only product I don't have because for A to Z you're supposed to randomize a letter so we're gonna do that so i'm just literally gonna google it because i don't have an app that does letters random letter picker wheel well that's nice Am I supposed to hit it again to stop it? I 
I got G. So, let me pause everything and go find something with the letter G. Okay guys, I'm doing something a little non-conventional for my letter G. And you can get mad at me if you want, but it's something I've wanted to do anyway. So, Miss Gingerbread, that bronzer shade that was on you about starts with the G. I'm gonna frickin' hit pan on it, and we're gonna see how much of it we can use. And that's what I'm doing for the letter G. Because I could've done Glam Light and grabbed my pie palette, but that's already in a project. I could've done, I was gonna do like my Regina George palette, or like, is it a quad? I think it's a quad. Um, Cause you know, that's a G. Or, yeah, but I f had a light bulb go off at the right time of 10 p.m. And I'm like, I can hit pan in that shade. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, now we are going into our 50 shade projects. Because 50 shades of green, pink, purple, and yellow got in here. How did yellow get in here when we're doing it right now? But, no, I'm kidding. That's fine. I chose for yellow this gold packaging, but it is my Tarte blush wheel. I freaking love this thing. I'm sorry, this looks so aesthetically pleasing. But no, I'm gonna use this guy for no pan left behind for my yellow gold project prompt. I'm excited to break into this. Then we have for green, this cutie guy, it is the Colourpop Nook Ink Quad from the Animal Crossing Collection. We're just using this guy, no pan left behind, because what the hell am I getting myself into? I don't wear greens, but I'm gonna try. So yeah, we're gonna use every shade in this guy. And then we have pink, I'm bringing in Maybelline Baby Lips. I once had all of these. It still smells like it's, I think this one's supposed to be Pink Punch. So it's supposed to smell, yes, it's Pink Punch. It's supposed to smell like Fruit Punch. And again, if I wasn't wearing it, I would put it on because it gives a nice like, hot pink tint to the lips. I actually like this. So yeah, 30 uses on that guy, and then we have the last 50 shades product, it's purple, I'm bringing in my Alice in Wonderland Colourpop Shadow Stick, um, it has little teacups and Alice's all in the cap, again, check out my first impressions of this collection if you want to see a non-conventional way to use this and how I will probably be using it for at least 10 of the uses in this project and I'm not giving it away because you have to check out that video to see but I believe I mean it has to be all 50, 30 items because that bucket's empty but I believe I've gotten through all 30 items I can't believe it I can't believe we're here um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and this intro Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to see the updates on all of this stuff and if you think I should mark it, because I think I might. Um, also, comment down below if you are doing this project as well as any other projects that you're into because I would love to check them out. Also, leave me a comment down below of other types of videos you'd like to see because, you know, I'm down for whatever. I just don't have a creative brain for it all the time. But yeah, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm either going to go make toast or craft dinner. I should probably make toast because I don't feel good. So, we'll save the craft dinner for later. <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.